Hello, I'm Linda Bates. I'm a board member with the National Herbalist Association of Australia and I'm here today to talk to you about one of my favourite herbs which is lavender. So I started my love of lavender a long time ago. As a child I used to put my face into the bushes, rub the flowers when I had exam times coming up and carry them into the exam room with me. So. Lavender, okay, what do I use it for in practice? When I started making my own herbs for the dispensary shelf with fresh plants, um, that was when I started to enjoy, um, again, the experiences of my childhood, which were really with fresh plants, picked in the wild, picked out the front of people's um, gardens as I was walking past to school, eating them, eating the hawthorn flowers, chewing the lavender and all of that. So here in Australia I love making my own medicines and fresh lavender is um, it's quite an experience because of course it starts when you pick it um, and you start going into experiencing the results of the um, incredible aromas of lavender. You can, you can sniff with a, you can take a big deep breath with your nose in, in a flower of lavender and you can feel the relaxation just spread through your body as all of the tension that you've had floats away and you can take the flower heads inside with you and make them into a cup of tea. You can put four flower heads and break them up in, into your cup and pour the water straight onto it and you can add some honey and you, you, you have got um, the most wonderful relaxing um, effect of letting all of the cares of the day float away and having your digestion uh, settle down, ready to eat the meal, having um, uh, anything that you might have um, found as a problem building up in your throat, res any respiratory infection that you might have come into contact with that day, will all just float away. It has antibacterial action, it has calmative action, it has nerve restoring action. In fact, I'm convinced that if any of the Russian tests and trials had been done on lavender, they would also put it in the category of an adaptogen because it increases and strengthens the body's ability to deal with stress on any level in any system of the body. So um, what else do I do with lavender? I remember years ago hearing that um, from a client who'd been travelling in France that it was uh, a herb that all the pharmacists in France carried as a tincture out the back and one of the main herbs in any respiratory mix that you, the, the French pharmacist would make for you, he would put lavender in there and that's when I started adding it to all my respiratory mixes as well as sleep mixes and digestive mixes and um, if you have a client who's um, pattern of uh, difficult symptomology in their body was to do with um, uh, was resulting in high blood pressure but also was to do with any kind of um, stress in any system that might be clamping the muscles of the blood vessel walls so that the, the vessels narrowed and the blood pressure had to become higher then, then you would put lavender in their mix so it will be directly related to easing the symptom picture that resulted in the high blood pressure. Um, then there's of course the actions on the skin because um, some years ago, it, I think it was in a French scientific laboratory, there was a wonderful story about uh, a research scientist accidentally putting his arm into a, a vat of boiling water and uh, he got so severely burnt and was so distressed that he immediately looked for the nearest container of a fluid that was cool and he didn't realise but it was lavender. So he had a, a, a vat of um, straight lavender oil, French lavender oil, and he put his arm in there and he had absolutely no effects of burning after putting his, his arm in that. And so then we started to realise that the oil, the volatile oil, was very powerful healer. Um, it's antibacterial, you can use it in vaginal douches, it's antifungal, it will, um, you can swallow it. In fact, I had a wonderful accident with it while 
I was travelling through Scotland a few years ago. I carried in my um, toilet bag, I carried a few small bottles of different um, essential oils and one was lavender. And I thought that I had, well, I had a digestive difficulty, really difficult because I was eating wheat every day, um, as you do when you're travelling in England, Scotland and Europe and it was all making havoc in my stomach and a lot of tension as well and discomfort. So I was looking for golden seal, the small bottle of golden seal because I thought, oh, maybe there's an infection setting up. And instead, by accident, I took the lid off the bottle of lavender oil and actually swigged it. And it wasn't a nice experience for the first few minutes, but it became an extraordinary experience of feeling all of the nerves relax, feeling all of the trapped foods that were fermenting and feeling really uncomfortable settling down, feeling the whole system click into a sort of renewed um, and warmed up ability to, to deal with those foods and the, all of the symptomology went away. In fact, I was able to digest wheat, wheat for days after that. So the effects on me were, were fantastic and I now regularly swallow um, quite large doses of straight lavender oil. So I also want to say that I put it in a lot of my cooking. I make the most fabulous cakes with honey and lavender and I make um, uh, syrups with, with honey and lavender and they become cordials. And on my website, which is www.lindabatesherbalmedicine.com, there are some recipes. On, also on the NHAA website, there are some recipes. I also put fresh lavender with fresh roses into face creams. And you'll find a nice recipe there to help you start with lavender. Thank you.